there is this uh, <clears throat> concept of rights or better natural rights natural rights are seen as rights man is born with inalienable okay and uh, it is proposed by both locke and rousseau that there is a contract between the individual and the government in a way that natural rights are not taken off okay and they listed some natural rights this concept is found in uh, american declaration of independence made in 1776 we hold these truths to be self evident that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain in unalienable rights that among these are life liberty and pursuit of happiness that to secure these rights governments are instituted among men deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed so three concepts are important here number 1 natural rights and number 2 government and consent and there is a contract between the government and the people that these natural rights will be preserved okay and similar thing is given in french revolution also declaration of the rights of man and of the citizen the goal of any political association is the conservation of the natural and imprescriptible rights of man these rights are liberty property safety and resistance against oppression so in french revolution also this concept is extended but we need to ask how true is this okay take for example basic idea of right to life take for example right to life okay it is true we are born uh, to live but uh, how can we say there is something like a right 
in fact we know going by darwin's theory uh, each life form each life form is a food for somebody else for somebody else some other creature so in fact uh, one's right to life uh, clashes clashes with another's right to life so what is this thing called right did god give it all this literature is supposed to be um, without reference to religion and god so first it was proposed as divine and later these things were proposed as natural but how can we say it is natural each life is a food for somebody that is how mankind uh, eliminated many species don't they have right to life if you have right to life and another equality there has never been equality across life forms in any species there is inequality among elephants giraffes birds monkeys so what is this right to equality who's okay and then right to property how you may acquire certain thing and you may have to defend and if you can't defend it goes to others what is meant by natural right of course when you don't have a natural right over your body you don't have a natural right over your property it is all about survival of the fittest and there is a competition for struggle but does that mean that we shouldn't value these rights we shouldn't value these things it is not so it is that we can say these are certain values and political system attempts to give them attempts or guarantees not to take them attempts to give them or guarantees not to take them so one can say that we have formed a political association with the assurance that we are assured we are we will we will not be disturbed on this not that these are natural and inalienable in fact what is meant by inalienable inalienable means these rights cannot be taken away cannot be alienated from man but you find that you need to have a government to keep these rights so in what sense they are inseparable from man in fact elaborate socialist systems are created to give equality and so much is needed to give liberty safety okay so these are not nature given rights nor god given rights these are simply ideals of a political association okay so it is this idea bentham took he said Here we go. 
the notion of actually existing unconnected state of nature is too wild to be seriously admitted so he rejected the idea of state of nature so hobbes locke and rousseau proposed state of nature and then modifications to state of nature but bentham says it's too wild not necessary and he rejected social contact as chimera or fiction social contact gone state of nature gone. so in written he proposed something a fresh a way to look at the reason for political association okay that theory is called utilitarianism okay and this what he said about natural rights when a man disapproves of a mode of conduct considered independently of any actual system of jurisprudence he says there is a law of nature against it and if he can't tell why he disapproves of it he begins talking of rule of right fitness of things or moral sense or some other imaginary standard which however varied in description is from first to last nothing but his own private opinion in disguise okay what man doesn't like he says law of nature and then he talks about natural rights and then he says right and legal right or the same thing right has to be legal right rights are not created by law right not created by law is a contradiction like a round square or cold heat so he says that right means it has to be a legal right there is nothing like a natural right And then he said the rights to life liberty and pursuit of happiness presented in the declaration of independence this american declaration of independence the cloud of words and on the french declaration of the rights of man and citizen he said natural rights is simple nonsense natural and imprescriptible rights rhetorical nonsense nonsense upon spirit so he is saying it is nonsense okay um one uh, 20th century think of um, han arent also uh, has a similar view and uh, she agrees with another thinker known for his known for a school called conservatism edmund burke opposed the french revolution so declaration of rights of man and instead made a case that rights spring from within the nation so book argued that rights come from within the nation rather than from nature so arent says this the rights of man had been defined inalienable because they were supposed to be independent of all governments but it turned out that the moment human beings lacked their own government 
had to fall back upon their minimum rights no authority was left to protect them and no institution was willing to guarantee them no authority was left the abstract nakedness of being nothing but human was their greatest danger so rights are things to be protected by others so you can't call them natural so she says in this book from the origins of Uh, the origins of totalitarianism it was much wiser to rely on an entailed inheritance of rights which one transmits to one's children like life itself and to claim one's rights to be the rights of an englishman rather than inalienable rights of man so rights guaranteed because they are citizens not because they are natural rights it means political association guarantees the rights it is not na- nature that guaranteed the rights so burke uh arent and uh, bentham are not against rights but they are against calling them natural rights and this is an eminently sensible argument because there is a, because whatever you think is right you are just calling it natural right and it is not logical nature hasn't given man any right that one should accept but then how about natural law okay to bentham natural law also doesn't make sense bentham says the law of nature is nothing but a phrase whatever is given for law by the person or persons recognized as possessing the power of making laws is law okay this is called legal positivism laws that are laws are commands issued by appropriate authorities okay so bentham says there is nothing like natural law whatever appropriate authority gives is the law so he is re- he is not only rejecting natural right but he is rejecting natural laws but my idea on natural law is different i think the idea of natural law serves a purpose unlike natural right just like there are laws related to physical phenomena like a physical domain laws related to body like sugar excessive sugar leads to diabetes there are also certain laws related to mind okay you can say for example man has these desires sex aggression needs law and if one has them one feels happy you can say things like this is a natural law natural law is nothing but the relationship across the variables this is not a command so natural law can be based on our understanding of human nature just like we have medicine medicine is about the body we can have about what kind of relationship across variables exist in matters of psychology so natural law is nothing but 
psychology. Why is this important? It is important because when we make up laws, which are called human laws as opposed to natural laws, human laws should not be, should not take into consideration the natural laws. Because natural laws has, violation of natural laws has certain consequences. Not that you should not violate, but when you are violating, it leads to certain consequences and uh, you have to see how to manage them. For example, I believe inequality is natural. So if you want to create an equal society, you have to see how much of force or what kind of incentives you need to create an equal society. But of course, in even in creating equal society, you will be following natural laws only, but you will be managing them. It is just like, for example, if you are constructing a house, see, uh, living in nature, subjecting yourself to rain and uh, sun is nature. But you construct a house. This is human. But then, when you are constructing the house, you are only following the laws of nature, including a physical time. So, to need to construct a house, you need to know the laws of nature. So, this is about the physical world. And same thing can be thought in terms of society. And loss of nature in terms of nature of man. So, nature of man can be the basis to create a right society. Society can make positive laws, but that should take into consideration what are the natural laws. Okay. Man needs love. Man needs safety. Man needs admiration. Man is social. Man prefers privacy too. These are natural laws. So, you can make human laws respecting the natural laws. Deception hurts. Okay. Society uh, is not possible if stealing is allowed. So, one can have an idea of natural laws based on our understanding of human nature. And human laws has, have to take into account natural laws. It, it, in the same way we take into account physics when we are constructing a house. So, the concept of natural law is not bad, it is needed. But the same thing cannot be said about natural rights.